of our time. And as a preface, I think one of the most difficult things about Christmas is there's a part of us to where, to varying degrees, that wants to pretend like it's not Christmas and it's just an average ordinary day. And so we can get carried away on the wave of accepting it is Christmas and trying to find the universal in something that's so contextually astronomical. <laughs> but given all that, it's not surprising that this time of year we think a lot about our youth. When we were wide-eyed and empty-headed. What does it mean to be a young person? Too late for us. <laughs> What's it mean to be wide-eyed and empty-headed? And even more importantly, how come you think you can't be that way now? To a child or to a young person, everything they see, every book, every block, Every Lego, every tablespoon is something to play with. They, they look at a heap of mashed potatoes and they see it as something that should be a mountain, so they change it. A child's life is filled with easiness because a child plays with everything. Your attention, your patience, your tolerance. So let's make something tonight of our own minds. Let's make toys of our brains, toys of our thoughts, toys of our ideas. So tomorrow morning we'll have something to play with. Last night we played and played and played and played and played. So tonight we're playing too. And it's nice to know the children are outside giggling and laughing on their own little playgrounds. And it's also nice to know there are people in the parking lot that I just saw a little while ago hugging like you wouldn't have known about how I hadn't seen you in a long time. I'm glad to see you again. That's a really cool thought. I don't know why we stopped doing that, but I like to do it with everybody I meet. Mean.